Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Integration Studio to create virtual sandbox environments to develop applications using Aviva software. To get started, click Add Project Template, enter a project template name. For this, we'll call this a 2023 3 node. And we can give it a description if you want to, or not. Uh, click System Suite, select 2023 from this category, and we'll go to Default Hosting Region, we'll call this uh, US West. Go to next. Now this is where we add the, the nodes in this template. So we'll say it's gonna be a three nodes. So we'll say the first one is gonna be GR node. And we'll say this is gonna be system platform, not the enterprise, we'll do standard system platform. This is where we're gonna select the performance of the machine. Um, I'll select this one here, it's rather cryptic, um, but we'll get the description of how many cores uh, and how much memory it costs. This is where we're also presented with how many credits per hour. And these are gonna be Aviva Flex credits per hour it's gonna cost when it's running. Uh, we'll add another node, we'll call this a runtime node. Add, and the next one we'll just call this our historian. Okay, I'll click next. In this part, we're gonna select which role each machine will have. Uh, for this one, we'll just say this is gonna have everything on it. This will just be uh, all everything. Um, well, maybe separate historian. And the next one, this is gonna be a runtime client and the third one will be a historian and uh, a runtime client. Click next. To avoid unnecessary costs of it running, um, we can have it automatically shut down at a specific time or ba based off of a duration um, of it running. For this, we'll just say after 24 hours, um, it'll shut down, or all of them will shut down. Um, and in this page, we'll have to determine whether or not it's public or private. This is going to determine whether or not people within my, um, my account and this particular instance of this integration studio, um, we'll be able to see it. Um, for this one, we'll just make this uh, private and then I'll create the template. Now that the template's been created, uh, I can go and create instances. So you'll click this button here and click new instance. Um, but now we can give this a, a specific name. Now the template had uh, the generic name of 2023 node. Now this one can have a specific um, instance that the machines are gonna be associated with. Let's say, this will be um, a chiller and there. So we can override the default values that I selected, um, but I'll just leave them set for now. And then I'll click launch instance. Now, Integration Studio will begin replicating the VMs and installing the software that I selected.